Mayor Sheldon Neely says he knows the importance of removing lead service lines, especially in his city, Flint, Michigan. Where do we stand right now here in the city of Flint when it comes to replacing those lead service lines? You know, by our settlement agreement, we have uh, 30 lines to excavate to be able to look and see if we have to replace those. Uh, but definitely it's, it's a challenge that we're going to continue to move forward to make sure that we eradicate uh, lead in this community in total. Mayor Neely says they plan to remove the 30 remaining lead service lines from private residences this summer. But the move to replace the remaining lines hasn't come without criticism. A federal court recently held the city in contempt for violating a federal court order. The court found the city did not finish conducting lead service line replacements in a timely manner and has yet to complete outreach, excavations, and restorations. Critics will say it took so long. Mayor Neely, why did it take so long to fix these lead service lines or replace these lead service lines? You know, it's, 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 you have to be very methodical about the way that you approach it. You know, we have to deal with the eroded trust uh, with government and residents alike. You know, some people said, no, we don't want to take you to take a look at them. Uh, to replace the line, but we had to get through them and then different contractors, engineering, different lo local officials, government officials, and then finding the resources to be able to complete all these things were very time consuming to be able to get through, but we're there now. How hard are you going to push to make sure that you are fixing those remaining lead service lines? We'll get the job done. I mean, it's not just pushing, but we'll get the job done. Uh, we're just moving through it, being very, very calculated about what we're doing and very intentional about our success. The EPA and the Biden administration are pushing for states and water systems to get the job done too. Wendy Wilkes with the EPA says communities have to report their initial lead pipe inventory to the EPA this October. In some communities, they already know where the lead pipes are. In other communities, they're really starting from scratch. So in a lot of communities, what this looks like is taking a look at their records and then supplementing that with visual inspection of the pipes. What comes next after October 2024? So October 2024, while it sounds like this big looming date, it's really just the start, right? So this is the initial inventory that communities will be submitting. Many of them might still have a lot of unknown service lines. Um, as a part of our updated rule, we'll require continuously updated information as communities find out more about the pipes that are in their water systems. Do you think that deadline is realistic going through what you all have experienced here in Flint? You know, hearing from some of my colleagues across the country, you know, I'm part of a, a mayor's coalition on many different fronts, you know, United uh, Nation of Mayors and also the Great Lake Mayors, uh, uh, you know, around the water sources. Uh, many of them are saying, no, it's not enough time and it's not a realistic thing that they're looking at, but they're all attempting to try to get it done. While some states are working to address the problem, others want the EPA to go back to the drawing board. 15 state AGs have written a letter against the EPA's new rule. Some states um, have filed their AG's office and said, the way that the EPA is requiring this rule, this new rule, it's underfunded, it's unrealistic. Um, the fact that there are some AGs fighting back against it, do you think that's a fair assessment or do you think that they should still try to steer ahead and try to get this done? Well, you know, definitely it's a fair assessment. I mean, each community has its own challenges. Each community understands the working mechanisms that they had to put in, in place in order to get this job accomplished. So for what works for Flint or a community like Detroit or, or even Washington, D.C., you know, uh, each community has to define what it is that they need and what resources it's going to take to be able to accomplish the goal that we're all trying to achieve. But we do understand the mandate uh, and what the recommendation is from our national leaders uh, as it relates to removing the lead. And everybody understands there's a sense of urgency to be able to do so but definitely they have to be able to listen to the realistic way that we can get it all done.